Okay, so the first step is to set up a database of um, your students' usernames, email addresses, pa their password, and their first name. Those are the one, two, three, four columns we need. Add another one over here to keep track of what I've put in and haven't put in. Then, of course, you need to log in at Youth Voices. And as an administrator, you should be able to find admin options up here in the right hand corner. All right. Once you're in admin options, you scroll down, you find add users. And let's check. so under add users, you want to fill in these these things right here. Uh, these fields. I'm going to set this up like this. Um, so notice I've done a few of these already. I'm down to number 37. So I just click here and select all, copy, pop the email address in here. We must have an email, a valid email address. Copy, select all, copy. And pop in the username. You can, you know, do this however you'd like, but this works fastest for me. And then I'm going to pick password up. And first name of the student. Again, you could just type it, but you could also probably quickly copy it and then you need to start typing the name of your school which in this case is Bview. notice a couple different ones come up we pick the correct one that has USA on the end of it and I'm then going to copy that come down to the bio section paste that in there spell out the name of the state Make this into a sentence. I'm a student at Bayview Middle School in Green Bay, Wisconsin. And I'm going to go to 29. Create our new account after we put the capture in. Shows up here as being created. I come here and I cross it off as having been completed. Now there is, actually I shouldn't have done that yet. There is one more step, fortunately, but this there are reasons. <laughs> when I come over here and um, go back into administrator users, you can do this after you do several. You don't have to do this for each one. Click here, go here, and add a member role. And confirm. Again, you can do that as a bulk um, entry after you do several students at a time. And that one looks good. And we go over here and we create an X. And that's it. That's how you um, enter a student.